Hello world, today I'm going to show you how to build an application with a navigation drawer in Android Studio version 1.5.1. Let's begin. As soon as you open up Android Studio, click on start a new Android Studio project and give your application a name, we'll call it navigation drawer in this case, and click on next. Select the minimum SDK that you want your application to run on, then click next. Select navigation drawer activity, then click next. You can leave this page untouched, click on finish. Open up contentmain.xml and create a frame layout. Give your frame layout an ID of content frame. The layout width and height must both equal match parent. Then right click on the layout directory, then select new and click on layout resource file. Give the file the name First Layout, then change the root element to be Relative Layout. Click on OK. In FirstLayout.xml, drag a large text widget over to the phone screen. Then in the Properties window, change the text to read First Layout. Then right click on the FirstLayout.xml icon in the Package Explorer, then click on Copy. Right click on the Layout directory, then click Paste. Change the name of the new pasted file to say Second Layout, then click on OK. And in the text of this text view in secondlayout.xml, change the word first to read second. Then once again, right click on the layout directory, click on paste, and we'll call this new pasted file third layout. Click on OK. And just like on the previous one, we're going to change first to say third in the text property of the text view. Then open up the Java directory, right click on the first package listed in the Java directory, select new, and then click on Java class. Give your new class a name. We'll call it First Fragment, then click on OK. We need to extend this class. Set your cursor between the open curly brace and the word First Fragment, and then type Extends Fragment. Now we need to add some content to our class. In between the curly braces, press the Enter key to make a space, and then at the same time, press the Alt and Insert buttons to open up the menu. Click on Override Methods, scroll down the menu, and highlight On Create View, then click on OK. And now it will generate our method to override. Above the onCreateView method, create a view object called myView. Then instantiate the myView object inside of the method with the inflator object. Make sure the first parameter of the inflate method of inflator is r.layout.firstLayout. Then change the line of code in which we return an object. We're going to return myView. Now right click on the first fragment file that we just created. Click on copy. Right click on the package and click paste. Now change the name of this new class. It's going to say second fragment and click on OK. And in this new pasted class, we're going to change that first parameter of the inflate method from first layout to second layout. And then one more time, right click on the package, click on paste, change the name of the third pasted class to say third fragment and click on OK. And once again, change first layout to say third layout. If for some reason the IDE does not change the name of the class for you and it still says first fragment, you need to make sure you change the name of this class to third fragment. Otherwise, there will be an error in your application. Now we need to open up activitymaindrawer.xml. In this file, we're going to change the title of the first three items in the group object. They need to say first layout, second layout, and third layout respectively. Then we'll change their IDs to say nav first layout, nav second layout, and nav third layout respectively. And we'll go ahead and we'll delete this last item in the group since we're not going to use it. Then open the main activity.java file. Scroll down until you find the on navigation item selected method. In the first three comparisons of the if else statement, we need to change the IDs that are being compared to say nav first layout, nav second layout, and nav third layout respectively. We can go ahead and delete this fourth else if statement because it corresponds to the ID that we just deleted. Then we need to create a fragment manager object that we'll call appropriately enough. Of fragment manager. Inside of our first if statement, we're going to use our fragment manager to begin a transaction, replace the content frame with the first fragment, and then commit the transaction. And we'll do likewise for the second if statement. Make sure you change the second parameter of the replace method to say new second fragment instead of first fragment. And likewise, we'll do the same with the third if statement to load the third fragment. Now we should be ready to test our application. Click on the green triangle at the top of the IDE. Make sure the emulator that you want to launch is selected in the drop down menu and click on OK. After the emulator loads, click on the green triangle one more time. Make sure the emulator you want to use is highlighted in the window. Click on OK. And to open our navigation drawer, click on the hamburger icon at the top left 
corner of the screen and we can click on first layout and then our first layout page displays click on the hamburger icon again notice that the first layout is highlighted because that is the screen that we're looking at right now click on second layout and then the second layout loads click on the hamburger icon one more time notice that the second layout is highlighted and we'll click on third layout and our third layout displays on the screen and that's all there is to it i hope this was helpful thank you for watching